the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, we beseech thee to keep thy household, the church, in continual godliness, that through thy protection it may be free from all adversities and devoutly given to serve thee in good works to the glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with thee in the Holy Ghost ever, one God, world without end. Amen. The epistles written in the first chapter of Blessed Paul the Apostle's letter to the Philippians, beginning at the third verse. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you, all making request with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ, even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye are all partakers of my grace. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the tender mercies of Christ Jesus. And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment, that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, unto the glory and praise of God. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ye that fear the Lord, put your trust in him. He is their helper and defender. Hallelujah. be with you. And with thy spirit. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory be to thee, thee, O Lord. Lord. Peter said unto Jesus, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Until seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Therefore is the kingdom of heaven likened unto a certain king, which would take account of his servants. And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. But forasmuch as he had not to pay, his Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and children, and all that he had, and payment to be made. The servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion, and loosed him, and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out, and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him, and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet, and besought him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went, and cast him into prison till he should pay the debt. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that he had called him, said unto him, O thou wicked servant, I forgave thee all that debt, because thou desirest me. Shouldest not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant, even as I had pity on thee? And his Lord was wroth, and delivered him to the tormentors, till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. 
Praise be to thee, O Christ. It's good to see everybody this evening, and for those of you who are home, hello, good to see you guys. Um, well, I'm not really seeing you, but you get what I mean. So, um, this past Sunday, um, I spent quite a bit of time at sermon talking about when Jesus said, I say not unto you seven times, but 70 times seven in forgiving. And so, it, obviously, the, the whole point of that was that Jesus said that you forgive over and over and over again, all the way out to infinity. And, and it's that, it's, uh, it, it's just that, that, that overabundance of love that our Savior is trying to get us to express. But he gives us a caveat in Sunday's Gospel that I didn't actually touch on. And, and it's one that's extremely important for us to remember when it comes to forgiveness. We have to do the forgiveness as Christ told Peter 70 times 7. In other words, on and on, always, constantly forgiving. If not, what happens to us happens to that um, servant that did not forgive his other fellow servant who owed him just a little bit of something. And, and the gospel just ends very, very clearly saying that so likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you if ye forgive your, if, if ye from your hearts forgive not every one his brother their trespasses. Simply put, what it means is that if we do not forgive that constant 70 times 7, times 7, times 7, then our trespasses will not be forgiven us. It's a sobering thing. I mean, you can talk about forgiving all day long, and it makes us feel good when we know that, first of all, that God has forgiven us in the work that our Savior did. But we also have to express that every single moment of every single day, forgiving one another. But if we don't, Jesus says it in several different places. St. Paul makes it very, very clear also that if we do not forgive, we will not be forgiven either. I know that's a little tent meeting, floppy Bible preacher kind of thing. However, it's something that we need to remain, have remain in our brains and in our hearts that we have to forgive because if we do not, there are consequences. You know, it's just like we tell our children, you know, you have to clean up your bedroom. And if they don't do it, there's consequences, right? Well, this is a little bit more important because the bedroom that we're trying to clean out is the bedroom of our heart. And when that bedroom of our heart is cleaned out, then we will have that everlasting joy that has been promised to us. And if we don't, we know what that bedroom's going to be like. And it's not going to be what we are here to be able to learn about and to go out there and go out there and live about it. So remember, if we do not forgive, our Heavenly Father will not forgive us. So let's do as our Savior taught us. Forgive 70 times 7, times 7, times 7. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven.
Let us pray. Dearly beloved, we offer the Eucharist this day in union with Jesus Christ, our great high priest. Amid your prayers this day for all those who are sick and suffering, remembering especially those of this place, for Anne, Deacon Lewis, Francis, Norm, Pat, and Randy. We also pray for our family, friends, and others who need and desire our prayers, remembering Amanda, Ava, Bentley, Bill, Brandon, Kathy, Chris, Colby, Dean, Diane, Gail, Erica, Helga, Jack, Jeff, Jenny, Jim, Joan, Linda, Lennon, Lori, Margaret, Mary, Melissa, Michelle, Monica, Myra, Naomi, Nick, Nina, Pat, Philip, Randall, Sheriazi, Varun, Voni, and Will. We pray for our U.S. Armed Forces who are deployed, remembering the 4th Platoon of the 812th Adjutant General Company. But your prayers for those traveling, for myself and my son Peter. And in our provincial prayer cycle, we pray for these churches in Virginia, for St. Albans Church Richmond, St. Thomas of Canterbury Church Roanoke, All Saints Church Saluda, All Angels Church Springfield, and St. John's Church in Virginia Beach. Pray, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours also may be acceptable in the sight of God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive this sacrifice at my hands to the praise and glory of his name, both to our benefit and that of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever-living God, who by the holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our oblations and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace that will follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent you ever sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him. Have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world, and he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul saith. This is a true saying, and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John saith. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is we and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Amen. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All glory be to thee, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and that institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. From the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, the humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we must humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that, by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins, and all of the benefits of his passion. And here we often present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we're unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. 
And now, as our Savior Christ had taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. We do not presume to come to this, thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls washed through his most precious blood and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Grant us thy peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldst come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. <laughs> Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him of my heart with faith and thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart with faith and thanksgiving. of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart with faith and thanksgiving.
for those who are at home and cannot be here present to receive the blessed sacrament of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's pray the prayer for receiving spiritual communion. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I believe that thou art truly present in the sacrament of Holy Communion. Since I cannot now receive thee with my lips, I humbly beseech thee to enter spiritually into my heart. I unite myself unto thee, Lord Christ, and embrace thy presence with my whole heart, soul, and mind. Let me never be separated from thee. May the body and the blood of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ celebrated at this altar fill me with divine strength, preserve me from any evil and danger, and bring me unto life everlasting. Amen. Now, having received the most precious body and blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ, let us pray together in great thanksgiving. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost vouchsafe to feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ and dost assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom by the merits of his most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Depart in peace. Thanks be to God. Peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.